Hey what's up guys, so today we're not gonna talk about how you can actually install the Zabbix agent on your systems because we already covered that in a previous video, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk is it really possible to monitor one single instance of the Zabbix agent, so basically one server with the multiple Zabbix servers or Zabbix proxy and do some sort of load balancing or redundancy in terms of the monitoring. So basically I have my front end uh, open right now, but we're not going to really need it. Um, most of all, we're going to need a CLI and we're going to talk about a key parameters and the pre for process of the Zabbix agent to understand how it actually works in the background. And as usually I also have uh, paint open so we can draw uh, a little bit of the how the communication looks like. So first of all, the Zabbix agent and a Zabbix server, like what parameters do allow them to communicate with each other. So if we would edit the conf config file of the Zabbix agent, which is always located in um, uh, in the Etsy Zabbix, Zabbix agent .conf, then we basically can take a look on two parameters the server and also somewhere there should be the server active. So what this means, uh, we already talked again about them in the previous video. So the server is about passive connections, which means that one Zabbix server is connecting to this agent. Server active is about passive connections. Uh, active connections when the agent is connecting to the server requesting the config monitoring the host and then pushing the data back to the server so uh, if we go back like uh, and just type psx uh, grep agent um, systemctl start zabbix agent and uh, then the ps type so what we can see here are the processes which are started by the zabbix agent and uh, we can ignore the main process we can ignore the collector and then let's talk a little bit about the listeners and active check hash one. So long story short, without going uh, deep in the details at the moment, so the listener is about the passive checks. Active checks process kind of, yeah, what it sounds like, this is responsible for the active checks. So what happens is when we have, uh, let's say, I'll just type uh, server and agent. Then on the agent, we also have a processes like listener uh, one, two, and three. So let's make them like this. And we also have active checks, hash one. There's only one, right? Like this, yeah. So when we are using a passive checks, which means that item type in the Zabbix frontend here in the configuration codes items is just Zabbix agent. It means that uh, I will take a brush, uh, server, internal process, it's uh, not a secret, it is a parlor, is performing connection to an agent to one of the listener processes, which then grabs the data from the host let's say it's going to be a CPU, and then server waits for this connection, gets the data back, and yeah, get the data, close the connection. If we're talking about active checks, then active check process from the agent is connecting to the server, requesting the config file, first of all, get it, not the config file, but the configuration, so getting the configuration, and then collecting the data and pushing it back to the server. So all connections are going from the agent to the server. Can we specify multiple servers? Then let's first of all talk about the passive agent. So it means that if we want to specify multiple servers, then what we need to do is inside the agent config file in the server directive here as a parameter, we need to allow multiple IP addresses. So in this case, it's 127001, and it could be server one, and server two, and server three, right? So like this, restart, and then what it will change, basically nothing in the agent, but we can have server one, server two, and server three somewhere outside uh, in our customer's environment or whatever else. And then these, any of these servers will be able to connect to the agent and pull the metric. There are no deeper logic, like anyone who is in the list of the server directive can connect to the agent 
and pull the metrics, collect the data from this host, from this agent. And there is no possible like collision because each request, what will be uh, monitored comes from the server itself. So in the server number two, we might have the item uh, system dot uh, CPU load, right? In the server one, it can be uh, net if in uh, as or net zero. And in the server three, it's going to be system dot run something. So each of these servers absolutely independently are connecting to our agent and polling the data. And uh, there is nothing which, uh, let's say, would make this a problem for us. So everything works without any issues. Uh, only thing that we need to keep in mind is, uh, let me get rid of this. So if we are, let's say, monitoring a lot of the data, like, like I mean it, like really a lot, and we know that there are listener processes on the agents that are responsible to gather this data, which means that, which means that eventually those are going to get like too busy, right? If we have hundreds, thousands of items coming in to this agent to be monitored and there are only three processes that are capable to collect this data, they might, might get not enough. And in this case, what we can do is go to the agent config file. There is also parameters start agents. And uh, uh, let me get here. So start agents, we can change this parameter without any problems. Start agents equals, let's say 10, uh, right quit. And we need to restart Zabbix agent. And then we can check the PS again. And there we go, we have 10 listener processes. But it again doesn't change anything in terms of this schema if you want to monitor one agent with a multiple servers. There is no correlation that let's say listener one will always be responsible with a server one or server two, nothing like that. So those are just pre for processes that are responsible to process the passive checks. And if those are too much, too many, you need to increase the amount of the uh listeners of the start agents but normally with like average setup of the zabex usually you don't need to increase those uh three default value is absolutely fine so what about active checks like uh we can forget about all of this uh in case of the active checks we already saw there is just one active checks number one and uh it's a bit different than the passive ones. There are no parameters in the config file that would allow us to actually increase amount of the active checks. Well, there is, but not really. So there was start agents for the passive, but there is nothing for the active. And uh, what is happening, uh, let me again open my paint. So active checks, this one, this process, it knows which server it has to monitor. And it's always will connect to one server to which it is assigned. And it will pull in the configuration data from it. And it will send the monitoring data to, again, this server. Can we run active checks with multiple servers? Yes. Will we have multiple active checks process? Yes. Will each of them be responsible and tied to one single server? Yes. And how can we do that? We need to open the agent config file and we need to change only the server active directive. So here we have listed IP addresses or DNS name of the servers to which we want to connect. If we want to connect to the second server, let's say server three, that's it. Just list it in the server active, right quit, system CTL restart Zabbix agent. And now if we would check the PS, see there are two active checks processes and each of them is tied to its own Zabbix server. So active checks number one will process, let's say the server number one, active check number two will process the server number two. And there's absolutely no difference. Is it a uh, server or proxy or those may be two proxies if you're monitoring everything by the proxies. Each of these processes, active check number one and number two, will get its own configuration not the file, but configuration data from its own conf uh, Zabbix server or the proxy, and it will collect its own items and send those items to its designated Zabbix server or the proxy, again, without any collision. 
The only thing that you really need to keep in mind with all of this setup, if you want to monitor one single agent uh, with the multiple servers, is active registration. Because as long as you have defined multiple um, entries in the server active, and let's say we are monitoring um, active check agent with the server number two and the server number one which uh, let's say gonna be not the server in this case to make it more obvious but uh, let me delete this so this is actually gonna be the proxy uh, proxy of this server and let's say we sometimes want to change uh, that this host will be monitored through the proxy and sometimes we wanted to have it through the server that's why it's do not change the config file of the agent every time we have listed both of those IP addresses in the config file so the thing is that if you have active registration set up configured with a host name, host made data, and you have an actions for them in the front end then what will happen the active check process will send active registration requests to both of these streams. And what will happen, it will send active registration through the proxy. If proxy knows about this host and accepts the connection, it will create a host uh, which is going to be monitored by proxy. That's how it happens. If the auto registration is going through the proxy, then it's also going to be automatically listed as monitored through the proxy. So the host is created, it is monitored through the proxy. Then after a minute, there is another auto registration entry. And this one will come through to the server automatically. And server accepts it because again, we have a action uh, with the conditions, filtering the host metadata and other stuff, and uh, everything matches. So the host again is, well, it's not going to be really created, it's already there, but it's not going to be monitored by the proxy anymore, because this request goes directly to the server, not through the proxy. After a minute or two, again, another stream of auto-registration attempt through the proxy, and this will going to be again monitored by the proxy. So it will always flip-flop monitor through the proxy, through the server. Proxy, server. But you still can use this setup. Like, if you want to have multiple server active entries in your agent and uh, list their multiple proxies, uh, server directly, it's fine unless you don't have um actions colliding with an active registration that will lead to the host just flopping uh between the proxies or the servers so long story short i don't know if it was uh, clearly obvious in this video you can monitor one single agent with a multiple servers or multiple proxies with a passive checks so server parameter no issues at all you just list all of your servers and a proxy in the server parameter in the agent config file if you want to monitor the active checks, again, you list all of those uh, IP addresses or DNS names in the server active directive, but just make sure about active agent registrations do not fall into this mistake. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for the next videos, and we'll definitely see you in uh, shortly, right? So thank you and goodbye.